Hey, it's Rob Weinberg, and on this channel, we empower people to take control of their futures through expert mortgage, financial, and real estate strategies. If it's your first time watching, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to get notified on all of our future content. In today's whiteboard lesson, we're going to be talking about red, red flags to look for when you're finding a realtor and a loan officer. We had one of our viewers reach out to me and ask for a specific lesson about the things to look for, the things to watch for when they're building their wealth team, specifically when they're finding a realtor and loan officer to work with during the home buying process. So one of the biggest things that you want to understand is that everyone starts from zero in real estate. We've all been there when we didn't have any clients and we're just starting. But you, as someone buying a home, you don't want to be a guinea pig. So you don't want to work with a realtor or a loan officer that has no experience. You don't want to be one of their first few clients. You don't want to be even really one of their first dozen clients. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes of getting a mortgage and buying real estate. You need to make sure that you're dealing with someone experienced. How experienced? That's really up to you. I prefer working with people and really recommend you work with people that have at least five to 10 years or more experience in the industry. Again, we all start from somewhere at zero, but we don't want you to be a guinea pig. There's just too much that can go wrong. So try to choose a lender or realtor that have that good experience. The more experience they have, the better that it's gonna be for you, the more things that they've seen to help guide you through the process smoothly. The next red flag is if they have no presence online. So one of the things that you should be doing is when you're searching for a realtor and loan officer, you're going to be doing research. You're going to be finding people and looking at their references, reviews, and ratings online to see who's the best person for you. If you're putting in someone's name and you're not finding anything, there's just no online presence. There's no social media. There's no posts. There's really nothing about them. That's a huge red flag because anyone that's been in this business for a good amount of time, even if they don't have a lot of clients under their belt, they should have some sort of authority in the industry, meaning they've done something in the industry. It's online, you know, of what they've accomplished, just anything to show and validate their experience as we were talking about. So make sure that they've got a good online presence and no presence is definitely a big red flag. The next thing to talk about on red flags for loan officers and realtors is going to be a rush timeline. You'll find a lot of times if somebody is new and inexperienced, they're going to be rushing you through the process because it's the only deal they've got. So they're going to be glossing over a lot of details and they're going to be adding a big sense of urgency to everything that they need you to do. Yes, there is urgency during the mortgage process, during the real estate process, but you don't want them constantly to have that rush timeline because especially during the beginning of the process where we're doing uh, analysis, pre-approvals, we're reviewing documents, that should be relaxed. That shouldn't be something where if you don't get it to them right away, it's the end of the world. Um, again, a lot of sense of urgency, but you don't want to have a rush timeline. That's definitely a red flag, something to look further as why do they, why are they rushing you through the process? Maybe it's because something's not right and they're trying to get it past you. Dodging questions, that's a big one. A huge red flag if you're asking a realtor or loan officer questions and they're not answering them or they're dodging the questions, they're being really vague with their answers, that's not somebody that you wanna work with when it comes to buying a home and getting a mortgage. You're gonna have a lot of questions during this process. There's no doubt about it. And if they're dodging your questions, especially in the beginning, that interview phase, it's not a good sign of what's to come. You need someone that's clear, concise, and respectful when it comes to answering all your questions. And that really leads me to the last red flag, difficult communication. So there's a lot of back and forth during the mortgage and real estate process. We're gonna need to be communicating a lot. And if you're finding difficulty communicating early on, whether that be phone calls getting missed and they're not getting returned in a timely manner, text messages not getting returned, uh, voicemails, that sort of thing. If you're just having trouble reaching someone and getting answers, use that as an opportunity to find someone else to work with because that difficult communication, everyone communicates differently. You've got to make sure that the advisors, the members of your wealth team that are going to guide you through this process, communicate with you the way that you want to be communicated with as the home buyer. Okay. I hope that this lesson has given you some knowledge and insight on the red flags to be looking for or to be making sure that your lender or realtor doesn't possess these items because the person you're working with, you want to make sure doesn't have these issues. It's going to make it a smoother process for you. It's going to make it an easier process. And it's also going to make sure that the person or people that you're working with have your best interest in mind. If someone you know is looking to buy a home or refinance, uh, I'd be happy to help. I do offer one-on-one -on -one consultations. I also have a network of established, reliable realtors that I work with all over. 
So feel free to reach out with, to me for a one-on-one -on -one personalized consult and a personal review. You can reach me by call, text, or private message at 860-413-3938. As always, I hope that helped and we'll see you on the next episode. Take care.